I'm going to talk you through some tips which I hope will help you next time you have to stand and present to an audience. One of the things that many people struggle with when presenting is standing still. You will all have seen it before. A presenter shuffling around, maybe rocking back and forth on their feet, or prowling up and down like a caged animal. It can be really distracting when someone presents like this. And if there happens to be live camera recording this in action, it's even more distracting. But most of this movement stems from two things, nerves and lack of preparation. I know some people will argue and say, well, that's just how I present. But if you want to be a great presenter, then you need to learn how to control your body. In terms of preparation, I would always make sure you look at the venue, room or stage before you present. Understand the layout of the area. Is there a lectern? Where are the screens? Can you walk in front of them? Where are the lighting points? If I stand here, will I be in the light or in the dark? Now, some of these only apply to a stage setup, but even if you're presenting in a small room, it's still worth scoping out the space. If you're presenting on a stage and there is a technical crew, you will shoot straight to the top of the A-team if you ask them to mark the stage for you so you can see where the hot spots are, so where you can stand and still be in the light. If you're nervous and worried about fidgeting and moving around, then a lectern can really help you out. Now, some people think that standing behind a lectern looks very formal. But if you're nervous, then standing behind the lectern is a great idea because by standing behind it, you can hold onto it and use it to steady yourself. If you have notes, there is usually a place to put them too. Once you've steadied yourself and you've got over the initial nerves, you can move from behind the lectern to a new spot. But always walk with purpose. Be careful that you don't just end up prowling. To help you stand still without the aid of anything to hold on to, you need to lock out. This is when you stand on the spot, feet hip distance apart, and imagine that you've got super glue on your shoes and are stuck to the floor. Your feet cannot move. Your feet have locked out, but you still have plenty of movement in your upper body. So you can still direct to all parts of the audience, but you're not fidgeting around. You're moving with purpose. The upper half of your body is completely free. For those of you who use your hands, feel free to do so. You'll see I use my hands a lot when I present. Now, if you predetermine where you want to move to, you can always ask the crew or do it yourself, put a piece of tape on the floor to mark a spot then move with purpose to that place. Now finally, remember the important thing. Always be a first-rate version of yourself and not a second-rate version of someone else. I hope these little tips will help you the next time you have to get up on your feet and present in front of an audience. If you have any questions or would like some more advice, please do get in touch with us. It would be great to hear from you. Thank you.